Welcome to this lesson on the polar coordinate system. This lesson is for those who have already studied Cartesian coordinates. That's also called the rectangular coordinate system. I'll assume you are equally comfortable with both degrees and radians, and we'll use those interchangeably. If you're not, please study my lessons on radians and degrees before you continue. The polar coordinate system consists of a fixed point O, called the pole or origin, and a ray originating from the pole, called the polar axis. Any point P in the plane can be represented by a pair of polar coordinates, r, theta. Where r is the distance from the point to the origin, and theta is the angle measured from the polar axis to the line segment OP. Let's start by plotting a few simple points. Keep in mind that the first coordinate is the r, the distance, and the second coordinate is the angle measurement. So here's the polar plane with the pole and the polar axis. For convenience, we usually superimpose the x and y axes on it because it helps us draw the angles. Ready to draw the first point? 2 comma 0. That means the angle is 0, stays on the polar axis, and the distance is 2. There it is. The next point, theta is pi over 2, that's 90 degrees, and the distance is 1. There's that point. Move on to the next point. Theta is pi, 180 degrees, but you see r is 0. Whenever r is 0, we end right up at the pole. Next point. The angle is 3 pi over 2, that's 270, and the distance is 1. There's that point. The last one, the angle is 2 pi, so one complete rotation, and the distance is 2. Look what happens. We arrived at the same point as 2 comma 0. I bet you see that a point in polar coordinates can have more than one name. Guess what? These four points satisfy the equation r equals 1 plus cosine theta. This polar curve is one of the most famous polar curves. It's called a cardioid. It's a heart-shaped curve. When working with equations, it helps to allow negative r values. We've already learned that when theta is negative, we measure it clockwise. If r is negative, we jump over to the opposite side. Okay, let's plot a few more points. Point A is 4 comma pi over 3. So the angle is pi over 3, that's 60 degrees. Measure our 4 units, and there's point A. Point B, we see a negative r value, so get ready to jump. First, we measure the angle, 3 pi over 4, draw that angle, that's 135 degrees. Because r is negative 5, we jump over to the other side, 5 units. There's point B. Point C, the angle is 7 pi over 3, what's that? Pi over 3 is 60, so 7 times 60 is 420. Subtract 360, we get 60. And when we measure our 4 units, we find that C equals to A. Last one, D. The angle is negative and R is negative also. 
First, take care of that angle. Draw negative pi over 6. So measure clockwise pi over 6. Then jump over to the other side and measure off 3 units. There's point D. All done. In the next lesson, we will learn how to convert polar coordinates to Cartesian coordinates and vice versa. See you then. Bye. Thank you.